Hello Vault Dwellers! Welcome back to Venetron's Fallout New Vegas full walkthrough. We are at Nellis Air Force Base, and we just finished talking to Jack and introducing Janet to him. And now that they have fallen in love, we need to do another side quest as part of the Volair series. Uh, so what we're going to do is follow our markers that we have. And uh, I just wanted to see that guy would what that guy would do, uh, and uh, do another side quest. I can take care of that robot problem for you. Just saying. No, I don't want you to take care of my robot problem. Hope the trip into camp wasn't too eventful. So now I think what we're going to do is we're going to head off into another area of the camp that requires our help. Uh, we'll probably do the medical part, uh, which I think is in... Oh, this is the museum. Okay, well, let's go in here. You're back. When you walked up... One... Excellent. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Oh, sorry about Everyone that, guys. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Mm. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. Okay. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Okay, so now that we've completed his, um... Ah, yes! Look, right here. A bunch of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold... We have found the limited edition Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. Technology cool. over them. Gee, where have I heard that one before? Why are you talking? Hey, you got a second? Ugh, yes, what is it? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course... But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong. Or... I think I need to... I'll take you back there first chance at... Can it wait? Why don't you just go back on your own? That's not important right now. Sure. Yeah. Uh... Alright, so, um... Now hey. Pete is done. Um, now we can ask him for Now that you know the story of our questions. people, you must have all sorts of questions. Yep. I have some questions about your people's history. Why did your ancestors leave the safety of the vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really... F I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after... Okay, um, your people were willing to risk it all for freedom? And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? I'm surprised Nellis is empty 
uh, was empty when your people found it. Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Uh, whereas your people had brought Geiger counters with them from the vault. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav, an outsider. Anything else you want to know? He has no idea I came from a vault. How do you survive totally cut off from the world? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. Great. Um, the ingenuity of your people is remarkable. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Anything else you want to know? Uh, what are the Howitzers doing at Air Force Base? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered blah, blah, Nellis. Blah, blah, blah. We, it took many weeks. Okay, speech 40. Thank you so much. Anything else you want? Uh, how was Nellis taught to your people to f Once we restore power, we learned that some elaborate shares we've been sleeping in were We believe they were used to train combat pilots. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're Uh, okay. Of course, you wouldn't want outsiders to learn to fly. Thank you for being so... Anything else? How did you learn where to find an old boomer? Loyal found a Father. file somewhere on the base with magazine articles, photos. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. Uh, okay, repair. You could attach ballast to the plane and then haul it here for repairs. Yes! In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go... I wish... Um, I'm looking to make myself useful. Who needs help around here? Gosh, there's... Oh. Okay. So we've engaged in all the dialogue that we can with him. Um... The, just to note, a cabinet in the workshop contains a Horwitzer firing mechanism. Uh, this is critical to um, one of the quests. The side quests, I hear you knocking. Um, so, uh, we need to go what? into the workshop. Uh, the workshop is just here. So, just inside the workshop here, um, in this cabinet back here... Oh, no, uh, I stand corrected. There is um, damn it, there's a thing here somewhere. This one. There we go. Uh, Hordes are firing mechanism. So if you take that, I'm going to take this too. Um, then you will have uh, that mechanism for uh, the subsequent side quests. Sorry, no time to talk, outsider. Ah, there you are. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Of course she knows. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Sure. Nothing too complicated about it. But it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near... You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis, between the two... I passed through a place called Helios 1. Maybe I could find parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array... Let's talk about something else. All right. Can I get a code to use the VR pods in the mess hall? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them. Speech, I'm genuinely interested in your people's history. What are the pods for? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. I already got the tour. Okay, don't. so we've engaged all the dialogue we can with uh, Pete, or sorry, Loyal. Um... Yeah, yeah. I wish I could take all this stuff, but 
you can't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back out and head down to Helios 1. Um, and uh, the other thing actually that I would like to do... Well, okay, let's, let's go down to Helios 1. So now we're gonna do the Sunshine Boogie side quests. So we need to repair the broken solar panels and find spare uh, array parts. Uh, we may already have uh, spare array parts. Actually, I'll show you. Um, there. Uh, where are we here? The front gate is over here. Uh, so we need to go this way. Um, there is a way to fix the array parts without having to go all the way to Helios 1. So if we make our way out to where this array is another glorious day in this man's army <laughs> where the array is um we can uh repair it if we have a repair skill higher uh, than i think it's 50 or 55 uh which i think that we do and if we don't we have a fixing things magazine that we stole from the workshop so we can try and use that and repair what is there And then I believe that there's also an ant problem in in these buildings, which we may have to take care of. So these are the arrays. And just have to get up on top. Nellis array. There we go. So if you open the gate, array interface control, of course we need to use that once we repair these um, broken, activate broken solar panel. Reflector panels on this array are damaged. Inspecting the damage, you quickly realize you lack the skill to repair the array without replacement parts. Repair 65 or higher required, or use solar array parts. Okay, so let's check and just see what our skill level is at for repair. We are at 60. So you know what we could do is we could read uh, a magazine, fixing things, which is right here. We have lots of magazines. So we read one of those and then we can repair this. So reflector panels on this array are damaged. Salvage parts could be used to repair the array. Uh, would you like to repair the array? Um, repair the array without spare parts. Using your knowledge of photovoltaic cells, you thoroughly clean, polish, and upgrade the solar panels. You can also clean and rewire some degraded circuits. You spotted uh, array efficiency improved by 50%. Great, so we've repaired that one. Let's do this one now. Great, and, and we've leveled up. Any other broken ones? This one here. Oh! Okay, now we have to... So I'm gonna get barter up to 45. And I'm going to put... Lockpick to 80. And then I'm going to put Speech to 60. And then Unarmed to 25. Now, I'm gonna put... Um, I'm going to put repair to 64. Yeah. Done. And then for the perk, what I would like to do is... Um, hmm. Die hard loyalty from followers. When you drop below 50% of your health, companions temporarily gain much greater resistance. Um, that's cool. But I think I want to use something different. Scrounger? With the scrounger perk, you'll find considerably more am ammunition. Yeah, I like this one. Okay. Good. Okay, so let's finish repairing these. And any other broken ones? All of the broken solar arrays are repaired. Excellent. So now we just need to return to loyal and tell him that we've repaired the arrays but what we can do to save ourselves a trip back here 
is just activate this terminal and get the arrays up and running. Oh, I guess we can't use the terminal. Damn. Okay. So we need to go back to him. But you know, why don't we try clearing this out first? And then when we then we can kind of hit two birds with one stone. So I am going to choose a weapon. Um maybe ballistic fist? No, it's not in very good condition. Um Laser rifle. Let's use that. Oh, we need the key. Ugh, so annoying. Okay. What's this little shack up here? Oh, it's a Horwitzer. That's cool. So these are the guns that I recommended that they modify to make them more efficient. Um, but let's head back and quickly talk to Loyal and let him know that we fixed those solar arrays. Just in time, our fixing and things has worn off, so that's good. Turn on my BitBoy light. I do like New Vegas. Um, I don't really remember a lot about playing Fallout 3, just that it was set in Washington and uh, lots of super mutants. Lots and lots of super mutants. It was pretty neat. I, I did like the, the additional um, content. I think I like the downloadable content from Fallout New Vegas a lot better. I'm wondering what downloadable content will be in Fallout 4, if there will be any. Uh, am I going the right way? Yes, yeah. Because, um... There seems to be those, um... Quests that can be repeated. Like, you know, the settlement quests. There's... you can kind of do, like, multiple different quests just to... and uh, different locations keep respawning with Watch different, step, um... Sister raiders or new sets of raiders or, or super mutants and things like that so um yeah it's kind of hard to to say whether or not they're actually going to come out with some downloadable content they might i kind of hope that they do because that would be neat i really liked doing the um well i didn't really like the sierra madre that was a little bit cumbersome but Okay, so back inside Loyal's uh, place here, um, and he doesn't appear to be home. Damn. Okay. Maybe he's in the workshop. Nope. Maybe we can sleep in this bed, though, till morning. Perfect. Okay, it is morning, and then, oh, it's supposed to be morning. What time is it? Uh, it doesn't say the time. Well, let's go back and see, uh... Ah, that's right. Okay, so I forgot, totally forgot to follow the marker. <laughs> Just assuming that Loyal would be back in his house, but he's actually over here in the hangar. So we'll head inside there and talk to him, because that's where he will be. Uh, there he is. Sorry. Eddie, no time to talk, get out outsider. of the way. Ugh. Eddie. Back up. God. Hello, outsider. Need something? I repaired the solar arrays. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Goodbye. Okay, so we've completed the side quest Sunshine Boogie. And now the next quest that we need to do 
uh, is return to Pearl and let her know that what we've been up to. Good work with those solar. Um, there is two other side quests. Uh, no, three other side quests. Um, and one of them is to clear out the ants in that bunker that's where the solar arrays is. And the other one is to uh, bring the bomber up from late Lake Mead. And then the last one, actually that's the last one, um, the other one that needs to also be done is the uh, helping out in the medical clinic. You have done well to earn the trust. I believe the time has come for you to show your value and find loyal and ask him about our people. All right, so now we've given the we've gotten the go ahead from Pearl. We've got the give the go ahead from Pearl, and we need to speak to Loyal about the Boomer's plan to raise the bomber from the bottom of Lake Mead. But before we do that, I want to check into the medical clinic, uh, wherever that is located. Schoolhouse. Uh, medical station and help this guy Argyle I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please outsider but I have patience to tend to I'm looking for ways to make myself useful I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago I've stabilized their wounds but they're in bad shape do you have medical training uh, I have extensive medical knowledge. Let's see what I can do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Okay, so let's help these patients. First patient. Treat the infection. Great. Uh, and the next guy. Attempt to treat. You have just enough skill... Uh, to recognize that you are about to do more harm than good, you stop before causing any serious complications. You brought him around. And the last guy, perform the operation. Upon further examina examination after cleaning the leg, you realize it can be saved. You carefully remove the existing stitches, clean the wounds thoroughly, and restitch the wounds closed uh, using a much more effective procedure. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, that's because I'm smarter than you. If I haven't said it before, Outsider, let me say it now. Welcome to Nellis. Word from Pearl is... Uh, okay, so... Uh, I'm still looking for ways to make myself... There's useful. still patients in need of treatment. Help them if... Uh, did I miss somebody? Uh, okay. Attempt to treat. Hey. So I wonder maybe if I read like a skill book, I'll be able to. Physicians today, is that what it is? Programmers Digest. There should be a medicine one here. There. Today's physician. So if I read that and try to cure him, treat the patient. After carefully considering the treatment options, you realize the patient is merely having a strong allergic reaction. By cleaning all wounds of the ant venom and administering a steroid compound, you reduce the swelling and the patient's breathing returns to normal. That was some fine doctoring. Great. I could learn a thing or two from you. Now I just need to chat with him. Yes, yes outsider? Uh, I finished treating your patients. Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages. When it comes to medicine, From you savages. Jesus. I'm not a savage. Come on. Jerk. Alright, so... We have helped him out. And that... I wonder if that completes the side quest. Um... It doesn't really say whether or not we completed that side quest. Medi it's called Medical Antics. Um, no, it didn't act actually activate the side quest. Let's talk to him again. Yes, yes outsider? Uh, I need medical treatment. 
No thanks. Uh, can you spare any medical supplies? Oh, wow. Let's see if he has some food. <laughs> nope, no food. Uh, okay, well, um, I guess that there's nothing else that can be done here. Which is unfortunate, because it didn't actually activate the side quest, so... Hmm. Alright, so now that we have done some of the smaller side quests, um, I'm going to end the video here. And we'll pick up in the next one. There is um, a couple last things that we need to do. Um, so we will do those in the, in the next video. So if you like this video, um, click the like button, share it with your friends. Uh, don't forget that you can find the rest of these videos on my website at vendortron.com and also my YouTube channel. Uh, we hope to see you next time, and uh, thanks again for watching.